Hey everyone, welcome back to Being a Fine Figure. G Topo here. Today we will continue our McFarlane DC Multiverse Flash movie line. This time we have Supergirl, who I consider to be number four in the top uh, ranking for the wave itself. As I consider this the number fourth um, best figure. As I continue unboxing with uh, three more to go. And we're getting near to our number one, so stay tuned. Obviously, I pretty much know by now, you guys will probably know which one it's going to be. Or will I throw a curveball in there? Who knows? But on to Kara sor -El. Um, also known as Supergirl. Um, this is a new version of it. Um, recently, we got the Page Punchers uh, version of Supergirl. This one here has a little bit uh, different feature, different uniform. Um, got the little Latina flavor. Um, finally, we have a Latina playing a, a superhero, or not so much a superhero, but at least Supergirl. It's never been played by any Latin. Um, so hopefully there'll be uh, more to come. So without further ado, I am going to get Kara here out of the packaging and I will be right back. All right, now that we have uh, Supergirl out of the packaging, we'll take a quick look at the accessories. Um, and this one, I always enjoy when uh, figures like that, uh, flying figures actually come with a uh, base, another flying stand. So we've got tons of these, but these are I really, really love. Um, it does come with a typical McFarlane card. Supergirl, little information here. Now, this uh, story here is a lot different than the other one from the Injustice one. This one here has a, obviously, a, she's taking the place of Superman from the Flashpoint original uh, storyline. So she's the one that was locked up, um, gets saved, I guess, in the movie, and then all of a sudden then gets the powers of a, of Supergirl or Superman to that effect. Now it does come with the sets of hands and the only thing I noticed different about these sets of hands is that they're two different colors. If you notice the open hands are a little bigger and those fists are really really small but this skin tone on it is very very different and I'm sure that the hands are also yeah they both have two different tones so um, so when you're going to do the alternate thing, obviously you're going to have two hands, uh, different color hands on the figure. But um, I actually like the open hands, so we'll go with those for now. Plus they're not as little. And I think the Supergirl was the same thing where the fist is just way too small um, as proportion to the body itself. But um, on to the figure itself. Nice detail. I like the suit. Um, the face could have been better, much, much better. I mean, it's not terrible, terrible, but uh, it just looks a little spaced out. Um, I would have uh, taken, uh, just like in the, um, if you've seen any of the trailers, uh, angry face or, you know, a, a growling face, um, obviously for being locked up and, and being, you know, coming out and, and unleashing some anger. But um, other than that, the, the hair sculpt is not bad. It has short hair, just like the recently released uh, page puncher version um you know i'm used to growing up supergirl having long hair but i guess they're modernizing them a little bit um and she has the little waves here little uh layers i guess on uh, to the front um now oh almost knocked the camera there now as far as uniform i love the uniform um i like the color of it it's a little bit lighter um than the uh henry cavill's superman figure that they did um, so I kind of like it. I like this color. I like this kind of blue. Um, it stands out and it has a, mi a good mixture with the red itself because the red is also not too dark. It's nice. So um, they could have lightened it up here a little bit, but I, I guess when you paint over blue, it kind of darken up the that part of the uniform there, the red. It, it just darken it up. So um, the S is nicely done. Um, I thought it was a pain app. No, actually, it's just the the graphic of the S. Uh, yeah, the um, nice little abs there. So, uh, yeah. Again, the, the hand. This hands match better with the face. The tone, ah, maybe not as much. Oh, it's just the lighting. Um, these are just way off. I mean, they are way off. So, man. So I guess they're reused from 
I don't know, another finger, I guess. Um, the finger detailed, the nails uh, could have been a little better also, but uh, yeah, still. Again, I think the uniform, um, the cape, it's nice flow. Not much texture, just plain. But yeah, it's um, worthy of the ranking. I ranked this one number four on the uh, on the list. Um, the articulation is actually pretty good. Um, she does look up somewhat, but she looks down. Um, the butterflies are very not really don't really do much. Um, they're just it doesn't really do much. Um, you can't really get much there, but the arms do go around. Uh, maybe they go up about that much. Uh, maybe more if I... Nah, I don't want to take break it off. I've seen some of these come off. Um, double jointed elbows, uh, really close to the hand. Uh, the hand goes in and out and does go around. Um, she does move side to side. The crunch is actually pretty good. You can do some nice flight poses that way, I guess. <laughs> Um, and then of course they, it goes around and then it does have the diaper which is a little over uh, too big I guess too much should have trimmed it down a little um, the, you have the click in there so it does have the standard McFarlane uh, joints there um, it does not any thigh swivel it's out of the question double jointed knees but they're actually pretty good I mean it just evens out straight with the body and the butt there. And of course, it does have feet go up and down, start, standard McFarlane uh, joint there, um, and toy articulation. So, um, Kara here, uh, I like that the uniform, it stands out, so it's actually pretty well done. So good job with that. Obviously, um, I will probably have her on a uh, flying pose or standing in the air pose. Um, uh, let me move the hands out of the way and let's see how uh Kara here matches up to um the other super girl that I have in uh, my collection the Muni Acquire. So this will be my second. Um you know, you go next to the page puncher. So as you can see the uh tone of this uh uniform I like it better than, than that one. That one's just a little flat. This one's kind of shinier, stands out a little bit more. Um some of the details on that uniform I like a little bit better, but I like the overall of this one here. Um, I like the whole sleeve thing here. I, not too crazy uh, with the open sleeve and stuff. But um, And again, we're used to seeing, I grew up with Supergirl, used to have a skirt. Um, you know, but this one here, they all have long pants, so um, a whole tight, whole uniform. So um, let me borrow this for a second here. That we can see. So uh, the cape, it is. It makes it heavy, so it's a little hard to hold on. So that's why the um, the flight stand is going to come in handy for you guys who are um, posing, because as you can see, it um, it does stand out, and it gets a it's a little heavy, and it does make it there a little hard to keep Kara up on um, up. So let's see how she looks next to her cousin. The Hendrick Cavill figure, as you can see, and he's a little bit more, um, the blue is a little darker there, but it has more texture on his uniform. Um, hers is very light. You can't hardly see it, but it's there. It's just very light. Um, the boots, everything is just one piece. I wish, that's one thing or another. I wish they would have had another uh, color on the boots. It, it would have looked much better. You know, that same red would have looked really good. Maybe I'll find somebody that really knows how to customize figures and, and maybe touch that up and get a second one to see in case I messed that one up or that one gets messed up. But um, And actually, the tone on her hands match a little bit better with Cavill. But, I mean, his his skin tone is just, I mean, it is it was pretty bad. Um, but, I mean, it's still one of the best. Probably don't know if they're ever going to make any more again, but... Um, I'm hoping that they do like a, I don't know, another limited series one or something. Sign them up to something maybe. Um, Cause we definitely could use another uh, updated um, Cavill figure. But other than that, oh, actually let me um, 
put her on next to, of course, the bat flash here. Let me move this over a little. Yeah. Uh, not too bad. And then let me move these guys out of the way and put her up against, of course, part of the Trinity here and Wonder Woman, the new Shazam version um, without the tiara on the head. So I'm um, still, still hoping one day I can get my hands on the 1984 one um, if I get a good deal on it. But other than that, um, again, as always, guys, uh, thank you for uh, staying in tune. I, um, if you have this figure, hurry up and get him because I know that people are, are flying him off the shelf. Um, that whole line is actually well done, except for the Dark Flash. <laughs> Every time I think about it, I just don't know what to think of that figure. But So hopefully the, the movie will put a little insight and I uh, will grow to, um, to eventually like it. If not, I'll probably end up getting rid of it. So um, until next time, thank you again for uh, tuning in. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. If you come this far, subscribe, hit the like button, and comment below what you think of this figure. And I will see you next time. See ya!